with Lulu, it started um, it was 2011, and she had started to develop a lot of bruising. We were on vacation in Los Angeles, and my wife and, and I and the kids were at the pool, and we noticed how many bruises Lucia had. We thought it was a little unusual, but she's a very active child, so we didn't think too much of it at the time. And she's very fair-skinned, and um, then she started having severe abdominal pains on the same trip, and her legs were hurting, and I thought, she thought maybe she was growing, and so I was carrying her a lot. And then we came home from that trip, and about a week later, she started to have nosebleeds, and then we started to really get worried. So I took her into child, uh, to uh, her uh, general practitioner that morning, and he ran a blood test, and her numbers were horrible. She had basically no platelets, and her blood counts were way off. And he came in, and Dr. Schellinger and I are pretty good friends, and he looked white as a ghost. And he said, Jimmy, I think, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think she has leukemia. And I was shocked, and he said, I ran the numbers twice. I told him to run her blood test twice to make sure, and you have to get her over to Children's right away. So I 911 texted my wife who was at work and she met me at Children's and that's when it all started, right uh, the week of her fifth birthday. You know, it's interesting how all of this is linked together because uh, the MAC Fund, our experience, Lulu, 40 years ago, I believe when the MAC Fund started, right? So 40 years ago, a little, a little more than 40 years ago, when I was a child, I had a cousin who was my age and he developed leukemia. And the same exact leukemia, ALL, that Lulu had. And he didn't make it. And the cure rate at that time was 3%. And now, after 40 years, due in large part to the MAC Fund and all the support they've given to research, that cure rate for that particular leukemia is as high as 95%. And it's the reason my daughter's still alive. I mean, I don't you know what more you can say uh, and how more you can demonstrate the importance of the MAC Fund and what they do than that. The protocol for Lulu's treatment started, I think, a year or two after my cousin Larry died. L Lulu, beyond being incredibly physically strong and mentally strong, is uh, she's such a character. She's a comedian. She's, my wife and I refer to her as a creative force of nature. She's always inventing, designing, drawing, writing, creating. Um, she's hilarious. She's a comedian. She's so funny. I really want to be like her. She... <laughs> She does everything inside. If there's something that she wants to do, she'll do it. And what I love about her is her creativity. She will take anything, put it together, and make something amazing out of two things that I wouldn't think twice about. Like when, she, when we give her like a gift and it gets sent in the mail and there's a box, she'll be more focused on playing in the box than the actual thing inside of it, which I just, I love. She was in the hospital for nine weeks at Children's and then Trek Bicycles had donated a bicycle to her, and she rode that bicycle from the hot unit down the hall, into the elevator, all the way down the skywalk to the car in the ramp to go home. That's how strong this child is.